Hello everyone, this is Aurovision. Today I will show you our hot live streaming hardware video encoder. For channels for KAD encoder, A channels for KAD encoder. The input or output resolutions is up to 4K. It supports H.264 for high performance encoding. Also, it supports the most protocols including SRT, RTMP, RTMPS, HLS, UDP, RTSP, OMVIF, etc. First part, I will show you how to log on the control web by 192.1cxi8031. First, connect the encoder to power source, and then connect the encoder to your laptop or computer with an Ethernet cable. And then check the IP of the local or connection. Open the local area connection and confirm the local IP segment is 192.1cxi0. Open IE browser or ground browser and enter the default IP 192.1cxi8031. Enter the account and password, both are admin. Find the network settings page. Here you can modify the IP and DNS settings of encoder to match your network. And then connect the encoder to internet by change the default IP. Check your local network properties IPv4 address. For example, my local IP is 192.1cxi8 6 so I should change the third number IP of the encoder to 10, same as gateway DNS. If your DNS network segment is not, please check with your network operator. After finish the sets, please click the setup button and reboot the device. After completing the above operations, connect the encoder directly to your router with an Ethernet cable. Open IE browser or Grom browser and enter the new IP. Enter the account and password. Both are admin. Demo show you the four channels HDMI input and display with VLC. For example, Input different resolution and connect to internet. In the encoder's web page, you can see the four channels information. Also, we can use different stream output simultaneously. Demo show you how to stream to YouTube with RTMP. Log in your YouTube account and find Go Live. Copy stream key. Fill in the encoder's media settings, server settings, RTMP node. Copy server URL, RTMP of encoder could be set as shown.
After set the RTMP, please press the CT up button, then press reboot button in the system page. If you streaming failed on Facebook, please check your DNS setting. After the device restarts, you will see that our TMP stream is successful. At the same time, we can also use VLC output the RTMP address. Next I will show you how to stream to Facebook with our TMPS. Log in your Facebook account and find live video. Copy stream key. Fill in the encoder as media settings, server settings, or TMP node. Copy server URL. The encoder is our TMPS settings as shown. After set the RTMPS, please press the CT up button, then press reboot button in the system settings page. After the device restarts, you will see that our TMPS stream is successful. At the same time, we can also use VLC output the RTMPS address.